If you're connected wirelessly from your laptop to your active panel and you're having some issues dealing with the lag or the latency in things like drawing on Active Inspire, you know, the time that it takes you to do a motion from when you do that to when the line actually appears. If that is too problematic for you, uh, there are a couple things that you could do to remedy that. First and foremost, you may want to consider doing a hardwired connection from the panel to your laptop. I'll cover that in another video, but um, essentially all you would do is plug in the HDMI cable and the USB cable that are already attached to the side of your panel to your laptop. That eliminates all of the wireless latency, but at the cost of having wires draped somewhere. So that will make it much smoother for you. Um, that's the first and most beneficial option. The other options, you can try changing a setting here on the panel itself. We, when you're connected wirelessly, just tap this icon that appears in the lower right hand corner, and then tap the little gear that's right here. And be sure that the picture quality setting is set to fastest instead of best. That reduces the latency a little bit so that it's a little more responsive. It's not a perfect fix, but it does help. The other options are to use the built-in annotation features of the active panel itself. So this does bypass your laptop, kind of. So the first one that I'm going to show is annotate. So let's say I have a website that I kind of want to draw on to point you know, students' direction, point their attention somewhere. What I can do is click the small little app icon on the panel. It's a small little up arrow. And then just choose annotate from the apps that show up. It brings up a small little menu or a toolbar that you can drag around and you just have some colors and some tools. It's very simplistic, but it's very effective. If you're using the pen tool, you can select pen and then tap it again to bring up some thickness adjustments. There's a highlighter as well. Same thing, you can adjust the thickness of that. So let's say I wanna highlight some parts of this website. I choose the medium thickness, yellow, and get this out of the way. And it's pretty straightforward with how you highlight. Notice that it is very responsive much smoother than the wireless latency and I am still connected wirelessly right now but since I'm using the TVs or the panels built-in annotate function that's why there's no latency you can show or hide the annotations with a quick tap of the eyeball icon you can erase if you have the eraser tool selected you can erase all with this function here and there's an undo and a redo button and that's pretty much it the annotate option here for the pen tool works just the same. Very responsive and easy to use. It's actually quite satisfying to use with your pen. And you also could, of course, use your fingers as well. The other option is to use the whiteboard app. So from your active panel again, this little menu, instead of choosing annotate, choose the option for whiteboard. That brings up a completely brand new whiteboard that is 100% independent of your computer. So this has nothing to do with your flip charts. This is its own separate program and system coming directly from your panel. You do have a little bit more here than you do with that built-in annotate function. So you have some more tools and things like that. But let's go ahead and clear this since it looks like there was some other stuff there. This is just kind of for on the fly kinds of things. If you wanted more whiteboard space and you wanted to write on your board and not on like a, a dry erase board or something like that. Thickness options are just the same as before. And then you have a couple more colors as well as a palette to select even more. That's erase small, or erase the whole thing. You have some math tools that you could bring out and then they're draggable and movable, things like that. Pretty convenient. Undo and redo. You have your move tool. You have a photo tool, which if you have a USB drive attached to your USB port on the side of the panel, you can bring in your own custom images or you can use charts and templates that are built into the panel's kind of storage. So we can grab, let's say, a hundreds chart or a periodic table. Now I have a periodic table that I can now move around and use however I'd want. And then up here, let's go ahead and see what this does because I forget. We have some grid lines, um, handwriting practice for any students who might need that, <laughs> things like that, and just a couple more options. This color selector here just changes the grid lines of this. So if we choose this, notice the entire background is now grid lined and we can choose, you know, red to change the color. You can save these. So it does have the built-in memory. So 
while it's not connected to your computer in any way, it does still allow you to save these charts. And then you'd be able to open them by hitting the dots up at the top and just choosing open. So pretty handy stuff. And since all of this is built into the panel itself, there is no wireless lag, no latency. Even if you're connected to your computer wirelessly, you don't have to deal with any of that delay.